we can take the integral of this and then we can find the derivative, right? Yes? We're good with this one. So again, the first thing we want to do, guys, is what you do, you take your function, plug in the top integral. So therefore, this is 7 squared plus 5 times 7. And then multiply that times the derivative. Oh, derivative of 7 is just 0, right? So that's kind of helpful because when you guys are doing this, whenever you know that you have a constant as one of your functions, Right? Whenever you have a constant in one of your functions, you know that's just going to go to 0. Minus, let's go ahead and evaluate e to the 2x. Now again, I'm subtracting a, 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 a quantity, so I'm going to put brackets around that. So that's e, <coughs> e to the x squared plus 5 times e to the x times the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. Now, let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit further. The power rule of exponents as e to the x time, uh, raised to the second would just be e to the 2x plus 5 e to the x. And then <coughs> times e to the x. I could bring that e to the x out front. Um, and you could leave it as e to the 2x plus 5 times e to the x. And again, guys, I mean, if it's a multiple choice question, like obviously you just have to look at what the mani manipulation is. You could factor out another e to the x here, <clears throat> or you could distribute that e to the x inside of there. I mean, it really, there's many different ways you can do it, <clears throat> or that the problem could think, but the problem could look like. But either way, I mean, these are both correct answers. Like on an FRQ, that's fine, right? There's nothing really crazy that needs to be done. Um, I would say if you're going to factor that out, the only other thing that I would see would be a negative e to the 2x. That'd be e to the x plus 5. That's probably the only other way I'd see this, like on a multiple choice test. They'd probably factor out another e to the x. So if you factor out another e to the x, then you'd have to multiply those two, and you'd get e to the 2x there, and you'd be good. Does everybody see how I factor that out? That's the only other way I'd say it would be better. Yeah? Huh? Here? Because that's the derivative. Remember, you take the value, plug it in, then multiply by derivative. Any other questions? OK. Now let's look at the next example. Now the next example is a great example.